next from the files of the Florida Highway Patrol, Trooper David Sellers' encounter with two drunk and angry men. Actual troopers portray those in our reenactment of Trooper Sellers' real story. David Sellers is a veteran trooper with the Florida Highway Patrol. His father was a trooper, and Sellers always wanted to be with the patrol. But now, after 15 years, that career choice is about to be tested. From the erratic and dangerous way the vehicles are moving, Sellers suspects the drivers are under the influence. Eastbound State Road 8, possible signal 12, possible signal 1. Trooper Sellers swings back and goes after the speeders. By the time Sellers catches up, one of the cars has dropped out. The Jeep is posing the biggest threat to the other drivers, and Sellers pulls it over. Trooper detects alcohol on the driver's see? breath. Yes, sir. Mr. Renard, the reason I stopped is your driving's erratic, reckless as a matter of fact, and it appears to me that you've had something to drink. By Seller tells the driver to get into the patrol car. Watch your feet. The passenger comes back to the patrol car to see what's going on. Trooper Sellers orders him back to the Jeep. You don't need to come back here. You been drinking? A few. I want you to understand that I'm placing you under arrest for driving while under the influence. I want you to listen to what I'm going to read to you. Before Sellers can take him in, he must handcuff and search him. Man, you can't arrest me. I didn't do nothing. Let me see your arm. When Sellers tries to cuff the man, the driver resists. This is so Stacy, Stacy, get this guy! Get your damn brains out. It's two against one Florida trooper when we come back. After chasing a DUI suspect, Florida Highway Patrol Trooper David Sellers tries to arrest the man. The man suddenly turns on the trooper. Stacy, help me! Get this guy off me! I'll blow your damn brains out. Trooper Sellers heads for cover, barely missing getting hit by the gunman. The two get into an argument. The driver refusing to go with a gunman. He fires at the trooper and flees the scene. Sellers leaves the driver and goes after the gunman. He radios a deputy to take him prisoner. The trooper sees the Jeep parked in a rest area. He calls for backup and disables it by pulling out an ignition wire. On a hunch, he goes into the restroom. I'm unarmed. Hands up. Hands up. Sheriff's deputies found the driver five hours later hiding in the woods. He was later convicted of resisting arrest, escape, and DUI, and sentenced to one year in the county jail and a year probation. The gunman was convicted of assault with a firearm and resisting arrest with violence. He received three years in state prison. Trooper Sellers was commended for not using deadly force against the suspect even though he'd been shot at. He continues to serve in the Florida Highway Patrol. The state of Florida now provides 24-hour armed security at all rest areas on the state's highways. 